Whitney.com. I'd like to ask each of them, beginning with Nina, to come to the microphone and just give you an impression of judging the 97th anniversary of Miss America. Oh my goodness, I was more stressed tonight than the night I won. Um, it was so incredibly hard when you have such a talented group of young women and I, I just remember, I think uh, Maria looked back and she just said, this is so hard and all of our faces were in such agreement because um, it, it, it really was. But we are so excited um, with our new Miss America and I can't wait for everyone to meet her and fall in love with her just like we did. Hi everyone, uh, thank you for being here. We are uh, very excited about the new Miss America. Yes, it was a very difficult decision because all of the women that competed were dynamic and scholarly and service-minded and, and oriented. And so for us, yeah, we were looking at each other the entire time like, this is so hard, what do we do? And it really can be anyone at any time because my favorite might not be Nina's favorite and Thomas's favorite and so you just never know, which is why I always say there can only be one, but we can all win at life. So, there we go. Well, when I was first asked to judge Miss America, I thought, that's hilarious. <laughs> and then, as I learned more about the organization and you get into the process, you realize a, you're about to change a person's life forever. And also, it, what these women represent is something really good. And, and you want them to have a great platform. You want them to be passionate about what they're talking about. You want them to have the will to change people's lives. Because we are handing them this tremendous platform. And the great thing about all of these women this year is they really did want to make a difference, whether it had to do with diversity or whether it had to do with arts education. They were really sincere and they were really great. I wish that they all could have won, honestly, because there was not a single person that you thought was not there for the right reason, but I'm glad we, uh, I'm, I'm very happy with uh, Miss North Dakota, now Miss America. Hello. Um, same thing, actually, when they asked me to judge, I was like, oh, that's hilarious. I get to be on the other side of the, the judging panel. It was interesting, because at first I was like, I don't know if I'm ready to, to sit in that seat. Um, it's so nerve-wracking to be on the other side and be judged, but it was fun because I know the pressure that they felt. I know the feeling of trying to overanalyze my lyrics or what I wanted to say for a question. Um, but it was really amazing to watch the, the girls you really felt every single one of their spirits, how passionate they were about their individual platforms, but also, you know, they love what they do for their talent. They love what they did up on that stage and they were enjoying themselves, which in turn made all of us enjoy it and it made it so much fun to be able to go, okay, well, we can score them and we'll be happy with any of them. Um, Miss North Dakota, she has such a, a special spirit and to be able to be a part of this awesome panel that got to choose her to be Miss America has been just, so amazing and I'm so happy for her. Her life is gonna change. We saw Savvy earlier today and she helped us with a part of the process, letting us know what her year was like. And as she's describing her last year, I was like, I totally understand that. I get it. I still have three suitcases that aren't fully unpacked at my house. <laughs> um, so hopefully for them, this isn't only, for, for, for Miss North Dakota um, and now Miss America, it's not only just this next year, but for the rest of her life, she might have a few bags that stay unpacked. So thank you guys for being here. Hi, uh, I'm gonna second what Jordan said about being an artist and, and constantly being on the other side of being judged. That was a very different uh, perspective for me. Uh, it was an honor to do it. Um, and I think most of the things I was thinking about today, I became a dad this year of two, of two little girls and uh, was thinking about, you know, what, what kind of person would I want my daughters to look up to um, who, who's authentic, uh, who was real to me, uh, and that's kind of what I was looking for with Miss America, and uh, super proud for Miss North Dakota. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you guys for the opportunity to let me do this. Thank you. Well, thank you guys. I have to second 
third it. I mean, it was an amazing experience. You know, when Sam talked to us this morning and he really laid out, you know, the history and what it entails and what they're looking for to find Miss America. And I think North Dakota, she was the triple threat. She's charismatic, she's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's empathetic. And I think one thing that really got me, during her interview, she went to her guidance counselor when she was trying to, to look at colleges and she said, oh, I'd like to you know, go to an Ivy League school. And her guidance counselor told her, you're never going to a guidance, you're never going to an Ivy League school. And she was like, okay, well watch me. And she went to Brown University. And I think, right, I was like, that girl had me like right in the beginning and it kind of stuck with me. And I think all the judges, I think she's special. And I think there is an immense amount of pressure on these women, but to represent Miss America and really do what it entails. And I mean, when Savvy was telling us about the day to day to day, you're like, we've got a, we've got a job to do. And I have to say, it was really special and amazing. And I kept thinking about my little girl as well. Like, you know, all the things like I would want her to be and do, and, and I'm so happy to be a part of it. And I think North Dakota should rule. Well, it's funny when I, it's, it's me. Um, when I first was asked to do this, I thought, oh, competition, I got this, it's gonna be easy. And then sitting out there, I was terrified because all of these young women were coming onto the stage and just shining through. And it was very difficult, but I would say the greatest thing about competition, under all those nerves and all that pressure, there's always one that just sort of steps into that spotlight and shines that much brighter and just feels like a natural. And that's what I saw tonight from the very start through her talent competition, which I mean, it captured my heart, so I'm sure it did everyone else's. And then, you know, she's just so poised, and like Molly said, we watched her her interview, and it, it blew me away earlier today. So I was excited to see that she actually came out and did everything she was supposed to. <laughs> I have to thank you, seven wonderful people, because now we have seven new ambassadors for why this is a great program. So let's meet the woman of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss America 2018. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. I am so honored to be your new Miss America, and this just feels like the dream came true. Uh, so I attended Brown University and I was supposed to go to law school last fall. Uh, and while I was in the process, I knew that I had one last year to be Miss North Dakota and it was something I had always dreamed of. And so I said, you know what, I'm gonna go for it. And so I ended up running, this was my fourth time competing for Miss North Dakota. And I'd always been told that a Miss North Dakota, you know, has never been a Miss America. You know, just see what you do. So I ended up going to Miss North Dakota. I won every phase of competition and I said I'm ready for Miss America now. Uh, and so I ended up deferring Notre Dame Law School and then I have a few others along in the process. But I do need to start by just thanking our sponsors and then I'll go ahead and start with questions. But uh, I want to thank the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. I'm looking so forward to working with you this year. Sherry Hill for providing all of the gowns and being a clothing sponsor for Miss America organization. Uh, it's a 10 hair care. They're gonna help keep my hair looking fabulous all year long. Dosh, uh, American Gem Company, Eco Tools, Atlantic Care, Passion Roses, the Miss America Foundation, and Dick Clark Productions. I also have a few family members that this journey wouldn't be possible without them. So I wanna thank my mom and dad. I don't know where they are right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, yes. So I had always dreamed of being Miss America. There were so many people along the way that told me that I couldn't do it, and they'd always pushed me, and they always made sure that, you know, although I may not have been Miss North Dakota, I was still there, Miss America, and that just helped me push for the dream one step further. I also have my aunts and my cousins who came all the way from North Dakota. Uh, my very first dance teacher, Stacy Thomas, a former Miss North Dakota, who kind of paved the way and just showed the remarkable women that are in this organization. 
Uh, I also have a professor from Brown University that came all the way here uh, just to make sure from t you know teaching her courses. And so it just shows the impact of education in this organization as well. Uh, I also want to thank Meredith and Nat Boyd for making sure that I looked fabulous all, all competition. Uh, they helped make me have that look that I had at that very end. Uh, I had friends from college that came here. I had an outstanding Miss North Dakota board and I can't believe it. This is, you know, like I said, the very first time this has ever happened and it just proves that it doesn't matter where you come from. If you have the Miss America spirit, you can do it and can become it. Um, and then I also just want to thank my sisters in the class of 2018. We all sat there and we talked about it and any one of us could have been the next Miss America. And it might sound very cliche, but it's true. We represent the best of each of our states. We're each servants to the community, advocates for change, and scholars. And I can't thank them enough for being you know, so supportive along the way. And there's so many pieces of each of them that I want to take with me along in my journey as Miss America. So I will go ahead now. Any questions? Yes. That's a good question. So I really wanted to make sure that I answered the question. I think that was something that I've, you know, I've watched the pageants before and I was like, if you're gonna get asked a question, you should have an answer for it. And so I wasn't necessarily afraid if my opinion wasn't the opinion of my judges. Uh, I had an outstanding judges panel for both panels and I can't thank them enough. But I knew that if I could back my opinion, and Miss America needs to have an opinion and she needs to know what's up with the, what's happening in the current climate. And so um, that was kind of my thought process and I just want to stay calm along the way as well. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Yes. My motto would have to be, you can't control the cards you're dealt, but you can control how you play the hand. And I just realized through my impact with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, working with Children's Miracle Network, we can't always control what's happening to us, but we can act, you know, control how we react. So that would have to be my motto. Yes. So I actually went to high school with Carson Wentz, and so he had a game today, and I kept saying, okay, if Carson Wentz can do it, Miss North Dakota, Cara Munn can become Miss America. So, I don't know. <laughs> Him, and although I may not agree with all of his opinions, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to support our president. Yes. Now that you are crowned Miss America 2018, what are your goals going to be moving forward? I think like the biggest thing is for me, there were so many Miss Americas along the way who inspired me, inspired to me to achieve my dreams, whether it was going to an Ivy League school, whether it was starting my own charity event. And so my big thing is I want to be that inspiration and that role model. I want little girls from all over the United States to know because she did it, she went to that Ivy League school. She came from North Dakota, became the first Miss America. I can do it too. And so that's what I'm hoping for. Last question. Yes. Oh. That's <laughs> okay. That's okay, well, I can just close by just thanking you all for believing in the power of this organization. We have such outstanding women, and it's just a pleasure. Right. Now we're gonna have the official presentation of the Roses. We have all of our CMN kids with us today. And Landon the intern, and Lynn Widener, our board chair, please come on out. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, guys.